things got a little heated. Uh, the big Davos environmental thing was over in Switzerland at Davos uh, it, it, yesterday. And a reporter by the name of Avi Yemeni with Rebel News asked John Kerry a really good question because to get all these dignitaries to Davos, it takes a, about a thousand private planes. Here's the interlude that uh, has heated things up. What's the carbon footprint of these events every single year that you come here? Do you think it's worth it? That's Peasants pay for your crimes? That's a stupid question. Nobody ever suggested that. Don't make up stupid questions. I don't what do you mean? What is stupid like about that? Peasants pay for your crimes. He says, what is the carbon footprint mm -hmm. of all you guys that come over here every year for Davos? He goes by private jet. Mm -hmm. And then the people that were walking around John Kerry were trying to stop the reporter from asking questions. They kept saying, we're done now. We're yeah. done. The reporter said, you can't grab me. Don't touch me. He said, I'm a free press. Right. And he said, uh, why are you protecting criminals? Well, they don't like any... And then Go ahead, then, sorry, then he said a lot of people say no to the policies right. that he's pushing. Will you stop touching me? Well, they don't like questions being asked of them. And think about it. This is the guy that's supposed to be the climate czar. He didn't do any visit to East Palestine when all the ag was destroyed, the environment destroyed. Right. He's not investigating all the, the train der derailments, but he's going to this conference. I, Great job, guy. He wouldn't answer the question, so I looked it up. According to a research study, the amount of the carbon footprint generated in 2023 at Davos was the equivalent of driving 350,000 cars for a whole week. So we, we did, that's the answer, we did Mr. Story Kerry. Every year, and remember last year, I think it was the last year Davos uh, summit when we talked about all of the different leaders from different countries that fly their private planes. Yeah. Even even John Kerry said one year, "Oh, I have to get here." Yeah, that's plane. the only way I could do it. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> Can't be like anyway, that. That's the answer. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.